How many four-digit codes are numbers less than 5,000? This is a bit of a weird counting problem. I say that it's weird because, as written, the question is kind of vague. We'll go over a couple interpretations of this problem and how to solve each one. I'll leave a link in the description to a similar lesson I did on some more basic examples of counting four-digit codes. So what's the weird part of this question? It's asking us to count the number of four-digit codes that are numbers less than 5,000. In some way, that makes perfect sense. If we consider a four-digit code like 1, 2, 3, 4, that's a four-digit code that is also a number, 1,234, which is less than 5,000. What's confusing about this question is it's not super clear if we should count something like this. This is a perfectly valid four-digit code, 0001, and it's also a perfectly fine number. It just represents the number 1, but 1, of course, is not a four-digit number. So does this four-digit code, which represents a one-digit number less than 5,000, does that count? Should we be counting it? Well, let's go over both possibilities, if we do count it or if we don't. And just for clarity, some other examples of numbers like that would be 0102. Here's another four-digit code that represents a three-digit number less than 5,000. Do we count it? Do we not count it? Let's see how it works out either way. First, let's say we will count numbers like this. So we'll count four-digit codes that represent numbers less than 5,000, even if the four-digit code represents a number that isn't four digits. Then we might tackle this the same way we usually take on these sorts of counting problems. We've got four spaces for our four digits, and we want to think about how many choices we have for each digit. For our first digit, since we're considering codes like 0001, we can pick 0 for our first digit, since it doesn't have to represent a four-digit number. So we can pick 0, we can pick 1, we can pick 2, we can pick 3, we can pick 4, but we can't pick any other number for our first digit. If we pick 5 or greater, then we're going to have a number that's greater than or equal to 5,000, and we're trying to count four-digit codes that represent numbers less than 5,000. So our first digit can be any of these five numbers, 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4. After that, any of the 10 digits 0 through 9 are fair game. We can pick any of those for the other three spots. So our second digit can be anything from 0 to 9, which are 10 total possibilities. Our third digit can be anything from 0 to 9, and same with our fourth digit. This, of course, comes out to be 5,000. So there are 5,000 four-digit codes representing numbers that are less than 5,000. Seeing that answer might suggest to you a much simpler way of solving this problem, which we'll get to in just a minute. Quickly before we do that, let's suppose we're trying to count four-digit codes that represent four-digit numbers less than 5,000. So now we're not going to allow something like 0345, because even though it's a four-digit code, it represents a three-digit number. So here was our answer when we were allowing numbers with fewer than four digits. Now we are not allowing numbers with fewer than four digits. So now how many choices do we have for our first digit? Well, we can't pick zero because that would lead to a number that has fewer than four digits. So the smallest the first digit can be is one. And just as before, the largest the first digit can be is 4, because if our first digit was 5, we would end up with a number greater than or equal to 5,000, which we're not counting. So that means we can pick any of these four numbers for our first digit, 1, 2, 3, or 4. And then just as before, we can pick whatever we like for the remaining digits. So we have 10 choices for the remaining three digits. And that, of course, comes up to 4,000. Again, it kind of seems like maybe there was an easier way to do that. The key idea we have to notice is that in a situation like this, where we are allowing codes like 0000, 
All we're doing is counting the numbers less than 5,000. So we're just counting how many numbers are there from 0 to 4,999. Since we're counting 0, that number of numbers from 0 to 4,999 is just 5,000 minus 0, which of course gives our answer of 5,000. And a similar idea lets us solve this problem very simply too, when we're not allowing four-digit codes like 0000. zero, zero, zero. In this situation, since our four-digit code has to represent a four-digit number, all we're doing is counting the numbers from 1,000, the smallest four-digit number, to 4,999. And how many numbers are there in that range? Well, that's just 5,000 minus 1,000, which of course gives us that same answer of 4,000. So what if we were counting the four-digit codes that are less than 3,000 and we were allowing four-digit codes that represent numbers with fewer than four digits? Well, just like how our answer here was 5,000 minus zero, if we were counting numbers less than 3,000, the answer would be 3,000 minus zero. There are a total of 3,000 four-digit codes representing numbers less than 3,000. And if we were counting four-digit codes less than 3,000, but not allowing numbers with fewer than four digits, then, just like how our answer here was 5,000 minus 1,000, our answer would be 3,000 minus 1,000, a total of 2,000 codes. All of this is pretty straightforward as long as you understand the subtle difference between these two situations. The ways that we solve this problem, either in the common way that we often solve these counting problems, or in this simple way with subtraction, they're both pretty easy. But the importance of the simple subtraction method comes in with a situation like this. What if we were trying to count the number of four-digit codes that represent numbers less than 5,670? The key difference here is that we just don't have a bunch of zeros after the first digit. It's not just 5,000, it's less than 5,670. A problem like this becomes quite cumbersome to solve with our normal multiplication method that we often use because the number of digits that can go in a certain spot in a situation like this depends on the preceding digit. For example, in this problem, how many digits can go in our second spot? Well, if the first digit of our code happened to be four, then we could pick any of the 10 digits zero through nine for the second number. But if the first digit of the code happens to be five, then for the second digit, we no longer have 10 choices. Because if, for example, our second digit was nine, well, then we'd be on track to create a number that's greater than 5,900. And we can't do that because we're trying to count numbers less than 5,670. So hopefully you see the trickiness here. How many digits can we put in the third spot? Well, if the first two numbers in the code happen to be five and six, then we've gotta be careful because we don't wanna end up with a number that's greater than or equal to 5,670. So this gets a little tricky to avoid counting the codes that don't fit our condition of being less than this number. Now, how does the subtraction method handle this problem? Well, it handles it just as easily as it handled the previous problem. If we allow four digit codes that represent numbers with fewer than four digits, the answer is just 5,670 minus zero. So a total of 5,670 codes. If we're not allowing four-digit codes that represent numbers with fewer than four digits, then the answer is 5,670 minus 1,000, which is 4,670 codes. So there's a lot to take away from all this. For starters, we see there can be a lot of subtlety in a seemingly simple problem like this. We also see that for teachers, it's really important that you're clear about the question you're asking. Don't get sloppy with your wording and leave it for the students to get a headache trying to figure it out. 
And finally, sometimes it's important to look at a problem from a different perspective and realize that it can be solved in a much simpler way than what you were thinking. You could get to a problem like this and be so in the habit of just counting and multiplying digits saying, okay, maybe there are five digits that can go first and then 10 digits and then 10 digits and so on that you don't realize the problem's just asking you how many numbers are less than 5,670. So I hope that helped and let me know if you have any questions about all this in the comments. Thanks for watching.